Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Evening Prayer. I'm recording this a little bit earlier just because I didn't want to forget um, and go say I was going to go live and then forget uh, to go live. And so, Gracie, Gracie, Gracie. Sorry, guys, she was wanting to eat one of the ornaments that we have up on one of the trees that we have. So, um, but we're here to do evening prayer. Um, I had to get my new book all set up because uh, we did, uh, we are now in uh, a new church year, which means um, a new book. So, let us prepare our hearts and our minds for worship. And with that, we have some new things in Vesper. So we say, the first is the spirit in the church cry out, come Lord Jesus. All those who await his appearance pray, come Lord Jesus. The whole creation pleads, come Lord Jesus. Joyous light of glory, of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. We have come to the setting of the sun and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And we, your creatures, glorify you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands is the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands is the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evildoers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God, and you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands is the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord, and let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified minds we may sing your praise with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host. May glorify you forever and ever. Amen. And our psalm for this evening is Psalm 67. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations upon the earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has brought forth her increase. May God be our own God. Give us his blessing. May God give us his blessing. May all the ends of the earth stand in awe of him. Father, through your power, the earth has brought forth its noblest fruit, the tree of the cross. Unite all people in its embrace and feed them with its fruit. Everlasting life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And then our reading for this evening is from the book of Luke, the 20th chapter. One day, as he was teaching the people in the temple and preaching the gospel, the chief priests and the scribes with the elders came up and said to him, Tell us, by what authority you do these things, or who it is that gave you this authority? He answered them, I also will ask you a question. Now tell me, was the baptism of John from heaven or from men? And they discussed it with one another, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say, Why did you not believe him? But if we say from men, all the people will stone us, for they are convinced that John was a prophet. So they answered that they did not know where, whence it was. And Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. 
He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Lord our God, help us to prepare for the coming of Christ, your Son. May he find us waiting, eager and joyful prayer. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let's commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. And this concludes our service for this evening. So from the Vatelaire household to yours, we wish you a good night, and God bless. <clears throat>